guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a day in the life video on a monday i woke up this morning as you guys saw my alarm went off at approximately 4 a.m is what i try to aim for when waking up and the reason that I'm waking up so early I think I talked about this in my last vlog was simply because I worked night shift for so long that it's been difficult for me to wake up really early and I've loved waking up early and being able to kind of attack my day whatever that day entitles whatever's with it a lot of behind the scenes stuff has been kind of been going on like I had mentioned we are looking to get a house so I've been working on my home approval process my nursing endorsement and all everything that comes with that and looking for a new job and trying to find a place that's going to fit me is definitely a process and something that's taking time. It just kind of depends on the day what I have to do with social media or whatever. If I have something to work with with a brand, it always depends on the day. So today I am kind of getting the house back together. We just got back from Savannah, Georgia yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram, if you do not, you should. I post there the absolute most on my stories every single day. So we went to Savannah this weekend and I was just going to really, really quickly, briefly tell you guys my favorites I put a post up but we got there Friday night and I had so many good recommendations from you guys for food for what to do lots of ideas but we literally were only there less than 40 hours we were there Friday night and we left Sunday morning just because Caleb had to get up this morning I got up earlier than him but we both were getting up this morning early Friday night we got there and what Willie's was one of the top recommendations from you guys so we walked down to River Street and got one of those we ate at the trailer park and they had really good I I love to call snacky food. We got these trailer park nachos and they were phenomenal. So it's basically like a big tray of waffle fries with cheese and bacon and it was so amazing. And then the next day we kind of walked most of the day, which was great. I really loved that about Savannah. We also brought Kaiser. His little butt is seeping right there. But we brought him because Savannah was so dog friendly. I had tons of you tell me that it was, and I really felt like it was. The whole next day we like walked City Park. We had wine slushies from the Georgia tasting room. We ate at a place that night called the Ordinary Pub. Oh, this was with the main reason I was telling you guys. If you go to Savannah, Georgia at all, my favorite, most favorite thing we did was go to the Maple Biscuit Company, I think. Maple Street Biscuit Company. Oh my goodness. It was sincerely some of the best breakfast I've ever had. I got the squawk and goat. It's got goat cheese on it. It was spicy. Oh my god, it was so good. Their maple tap coffee was absolutely phenomenal. Just a little brief overview of that. I was gonna vlog it, but I also really wanted to just kind of be in the moment with Kayla because that was our first weekend trip here in Georgia. Like realistically, we've had people visiting and stuff, but we haven't had a chance to get out and about together. So I didn't want to be vlogging the whole time. This morning, like I said, I woke up at 4 a.m. Before I get up every single morning, I have a pre-workout ready to go so these cups you guys know these cups i use these for work all the time these are my absolutely abby cups and just in general in life i have pre-workout ready to go and all i do in the morning for caffeine for a 5 a.m workout so today was legs i had in my cup i do about that much water and this is just personal preference i don't personally love to have a ton of liquids before i go work out so I did about that much water and I do a half scoop of pre-workout. Not every single day, but today's legs and it was a Monday and the weekend was crazy. So, and I ate a lot of good food. So I did a half scoop. This is the brand new pre-workout from Milani. I bought this last week, I think. I got two of them, one for a giveaway. This one tastes like a pina colada and I absolutely loved it. So I did this with this combo. And I get a lot of questions about what this is. By the way, I'm not affiliated with Alani at all. I've bought their products since they started their company years ago. And I just have really liked their pre-workout and pump. Um, I'm not a huge fan of their protein, but I really, their protein shakes in the bottles I do, which is actually, I'm gonna have one right now. I'm gonna have the fruity cereal one. I really, sorry about this light, guys. I'm so sorry. The lighting is terrible in here. I really, really, really love these and their pre-workout and pump. So I do this little stack, half scoop of, pre-workout and then a full scoop of pump and I have it all ready to go in here so all I do in the morning is I wake up at four I have my outfit laid out like you guys saw and then I just hop in the car and I go to my workout and it's so nice to get it out of the way I know how horrible it sounds to wake up at 4 a.m but once you start doing it like I've been doing it a little over a month now I think I think they say it takes 21 days to build a habit I don't really know if that's true or not but I've actually enjoyed getting my workout out of the way and it feels like 
like I don't even know what time it is right now 639 it just gets it out of the way and now I have my entire day and I do go to bed a little bit earlier I used to be a night owl obviously because I worked nights most of the time I try to be asleep by 10 30 11 which is pretty doable for me because I get a lot of my stuff done during the day I spend tons of time like trying to be done typically with stuff by the time Caleb gets home but like social media like never stops and that's a part of what I feel like people don't always understand is like it never shuts off so I try to respond to your DMs all hours of the day and sometimes I just need to like shut off my computer and stop responding to emails and DMs but try to get to bed by 10 30 11 and just set a goal for yourself and also a really good idea and tip for being a morning person is the app sleep track it is the app that you can use if you sleep with your apple watch i know that sounds crazy because it's like when do you charge it charge it in the car or charge it when you're sedentary or like sitting at your desk your office or whatever and sleep with your watch on and it will vibe you on your watch to wake up it'll tell you when to go to bed to get your sleep goal met all that i'm gonna drink this shake shower get ready and probably make some breakfast. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. I got this Savannah mug. It's so cute. I thought it went perfect with kind of the style I go for. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was very obsessed with Ray Dunn for so long and I've slowly transitioned out of that and I really, really like old school mugs. I'm gonna do Malazio. This is one of my favorite pods and then I like the blue and the green Stormio. Stormio and Odeisho, I probably said that wrong, but I really, really loved the Ray Dunn mugs, but I've transitioned to more old school mugs because it kind of reminds me of my grandpa. I am ready to go. I was just working on some stuff this morning on my computer, emails, DMs, stuff like that. But I wanted to show you guys my very first meal. It is 11 a.m. This is just when I'm eating my first meal. It's not anything specific. I'm not fasting or anything like that. It's just kind of when I'm eating. I just have two Kashi waffles with a tablespoon of peanut butter on there. And then I have about a cup of egg whites on here that I'm going to have with a pepper jack cheese wedge. So we got protein, carbs, fats, all the things. And this is going to be my first meal. I'm gonna take Kaiser on a walk here in just a minute. I wanna include this in this video because I think this is super helpful to people. Recently, I have purchased some templates. So if you go on to Etsy, which I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I actually utilize personally, you can find really, really great nursing templates for resumes, cover letters, whatever you're trying to apply for or whatever it may be. And this goes for any job, honestly. Like if you're applying to you know, not a nursing job or anything in healthcare, this totally works. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got because I really, really liked it. You just go to etsy.com and you search in here. So you can search for whatever template or cover letter you're looking for. I don't think I used this when I applied for my first nursing job and I wish I would have because there's so many good ones and it's not like you're copying what these people are doing. It's just a great way to have a really clean, fresh looking resume and cover letter, which I really, really wanted. And it's hard because you aren't looking at your cover letter and resume frequently, obviously, if you're working. I worked for two years and I have not touched my resume or cover letter until now, obviously. So this is just really, really nice. I'm gonna show you guys which one I used because I thought it was great. I don't, obviously, like I said, I can't show you mine because that would be, I mean, I'd be showing you my address and stuff, but this is the template that I used and this is currently my resume and cover letter that I am using to apply for nursing positions right now. I just think it looks so clean. I like that it has RN up there, very straight to the point. It's not too long. I'm actually only using the one page one right now. It's only 975 and it's just super nice if you're stressed out about this or thinking about it, like for here for example, you can do a reference page. There's your cover letter. This is exactly what my cover letter looks like, only obviously whatever job I'm applying for. I just thought I would share that little resource because I thought it was just a great reminder that you don't have to, you know, go in and do all of this yourself. I did buy a couple before I figured out what I really like, but the cool thing is, is they're pretty affordable. So just a little something I've been working on and kind of playing around with and I thought I would share it because it's fun. I love stuff like this. Etsy's so stinking great and people are so creative. I wish I could do something like that, but yeah. Little fun fact. Having a power plate meal, I am having fajita chicken bowl. I'll show it to you guys here in a second. They're so sinking good. I've been ordering from them since July of last year. They're so great. It's kind of similar to Home Chef where it's a meal prep thing, but these ones, the meal is already done up for you. 
so it's a great and really easy lunch great for work too so i'm going to try and get back to a bunch of dms and i was just showing on instagram that i got this little spinny from home goods i'm in love with it so i'm playing around with my coffee bar right now and trying to figure out what i want to do with this but i love the lavender brighten it up a little bit it's march and I know I'm not decorating a ton here, but I don't know, I just, I love this. I think it's so bright and pretty. It would be so pretty on an island. This was $29.99 at Home Goods. So go check out your Home Goods. I need to put oil in here at some point, but I just love lavender. It's so pretty. Caleb brought home Sonic Diet Cherry Limeades. So I have that over there. And then for dinner, I just made, if you're actually, I threw it away, but I've talked about them a ton of times, the veggie pasta. He has it in here, but I just did the, Alfredo with garlic and herb. So good, I've had two bites of it. I'll show you guys and I added sriracha on top, but these sausages are my favorite. We get them at Publix and the macros are so good on them. I just chopped them up. These are gonna go in his, but I'll show you guys mine really quick. This is what it looks like. It is so good. It's a super filling, easy dinner. It takes five minutes to make, four minutes to heat up the pasta, one minute to heat up the sausages, cut it up, add sriracha perfection so good but i got in the new floral hydro jug sleeves so here's this one and then the other one's over there but this melon hydro jug is releasing on saturday march 13th hopefully this video goes up by then so pretty it's honestly the most perfect spring color i love the matte finish on top so cute next day i want to show you guys a couple different things for one i want to show you the baskets that i got at home goods and we are going to transform this wall right here this is my dining room i have mentioned i'm doing very minimal decor but i thought i would give it a try and try to put up a basket wall with my command strips so y'all are gonna get to see me do that and attempt it and then i also want to show you guys some cute beach summer vacay vibe outfits i'm actually going on vacation with my mom next week and i've kind of pulled these outfits together a few of them are from last year that are actually still in stock and then some of these are new i've been obsessed and this is not sponsored at all i've been obsessed with the website boutique pink lily and i'm sure you guys have heard other people talk about pink lily before i'm sitting on my countertop but they have so many cute outfits and rompers really really lightweight throw on easy it gives me vacay summer spring vibes like when i am going outside like today it's 70 degrees and i would wear one of these i'm just going to show you guys really quick and then we will put together this wall this skirt actually is amazon but the rest of this is all pink lily and i actually have a couple other travel things i was going to show you guys just because i know it's spring break and it's getting warmer especially here in georgia we're going to be trying to go to florida beaches and just trying to be outside as much as possible both of these skirts are amazon so this one is is a little bit it's got kind of it's like an animal print but this is a beigey pink i don't know if you can tell it's a mix between tan and pink but i got this one and then i got this one because they are so cute they cinch in at your waist a little bit and then you can put on a bra or you could do a bralette you could do a tank top underneath you could do a bodysuit easy breezy and i'm not a huge skirt girl i don't wear tons of skirts and dresses but i saw this on amazon and wanted to mention it because it's really really affordable these two are actually the exact same romper but just just different prints so i actually turned 25 in april so if i don't wear both of these next week on our trip i will definitely be wearing one of these on my birthday this is so comfy so this is from pink lily this is a romper it is a little bit more of a luxury material this isn't cotton or anything like that it's more of a lightweight flowy material it is so cute it's got these flowy little arms over here and then it has a little button here that you can button if you want to i think i did and then it doesn't show you know it's not like a plunging v-neck or anything like that but it's just a super cute date night romper and then it is able to be cinched in here at the waist so i loved that and then this one as well same exact thing just this striped i thought those were both perfect beachy summery spring outfits especially because it's going to get hot and then these other two are actually from last year and they both are in stock they have both of them so this tie-dye romper is so comfortable so flowy this is cotton it does have pockets but i know tons of you guys are into tie-dye like i am and this one is so comfortable for summer as well as 
this camo one here. This is also Pink Lily. And just want to say too with Pink Lily, they have tons of coupons. Lots of girls have 20% off coupons. I do not. I just always look and see who has one that's active and I try to use that to get 20% off my order, which makes all this stuff really, really affordable. So this is the camo one. This also has pockets. I just love things for my legs that I can just flow around in, you know, going to dinner or whatever. Super comfortable. That's not super restrictive on my thighs. I love that. This also has a tie here you can cinch it into your waist and make it a little bit more slimming if you want to and then this one I just got in today I will have links for all this stuff down below by the way I just got this one in today and I might wear this on Sunday when we leave <laughs> oh my gosh this looks gigantic imagine this as an off the shoulder top it cinches in here it has pockets down here this is also cotton super lightweight but this one goes off your shoulder here so you have a little bit you know you can wear it off your shoulder or you can wear it off of both but it's that really really pretty tie-dye material so comfortable a couple other things for vacation these are two swim cover-ups that I'm going to be bringing with these are both from Toluca swim and they are long it's a long maxi style and then it has a slit on both sides but it is just a super easy throw on bodycon type cover up so I have that in black and white definitely will be bringing those along I grabbed these from Amazon I needed something just to put in a little bit of body wash shampoo and conditioner and stuff I don't know if anybody shops at Victoria's Secret anymore, but these are my favorite shorts in the whole world to lounge in. I always get a pair every single year. If you've never tried their, these are boyfriend shorts. These are so stinking comfortable. I get a large because I like them to be roomy, but if you don't have these, they're so comfortable to throw on if you're at the pool for a cover up or if you're just chilling. And then I saw this and I snagged this for a sleep shirt. I thought this was so cute. It's a big oversized. I think it's one size actually. Yeah, this is one size. And then I haven't bought a pink sweatshirt in a minute, but it was really long and I liked the idea of that. And then I also just grabbed these white camo sweatpants because I deep down have a place in my heart for Victoria's Secret sweatpants. It brings me back to high school, so I had to grab those too, but just a little spring haul. Definitely check out Pink Lily if you're into rompers and stuff like me. I just feel like they have really good prices. It's not outrageous by any means. Like I love Vici dolls, but I really feel like Pink Lily has a little bit more affordable options and their stuff is so sick but let's hang up a basket wall. I am in desperate, desperate, desperate need to just do something here. I wanna decorate so bad. These are the baskets I found. I've been looking for some to put up for a basket wall and I'm staring at this wall and I wanna do something to it too. Ugh! Okay, I got these at TJ Maxx, or Home Goods. I mean Home Goods. They were all sitting together. I'll show you guys the tags so you can look and see. These are Wolof, Wolof baskets, and there is the price for you guys right there, $29.99. I think they're all different prices, actually. A little bit different. That one's $19.99, so not super cheap, but this is a big, bigger basket. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's light brown. I think this was also $29.99. Yep, but I want that to be the centerpiece, and then I'm gonna play around with these to decide how they're gonna go up on the wall. I've got some white, there's some black, there's some gray. This is kind of the layout I'm looking at right now. Maybe too much going on, but I really want to see how it looks and pull some of the colors from the house in. So we're going to try and hang this. Cracked open a cold one for this. I searched on Pinterest really quickly and lots of people are connecting them. If you guys can see what I'm saying, some people aren't. So I might just try and then if I hate it, we can switch it around and play. But I am going to be using command strips and I know that sounds stupid, but if we're moving out of here in less than four months, three months, three months, three months. I don't want to make holes in the wall. So the only holes in the wall I made were for our um, key holder. So I want to avoid that, but I'm going to use these. A lot of you guys have recommended these to me and I'm just going to give it a shot. This could be a total fail because they're baskets, but let's give it a shot. Cheers.
is what she looks like. I really do think that I love it. I might play around and maybe connect them at some point, but I think right now, just with what the living room or the dining room looks like, I'll just scoot back too so you guys can get a better idea. I think I really, really like it. I'm always open for switching things out. If I find some plain colored baskets, I might even switch them out. This actually worked really, really well. They haven't dropped yet and they still might, but for not putting holes in the wall, it worked really well. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.